In this video, we'll be talking about the search results overview page. So once you've visited a search and you've done your search, you get these results. And see here we have 10,000 results in 1.34 seconds. And you could even limit your search. You could uh, include forked uh, repos, uh, include archived repos, lots of good filters there. And you can see that the highlighted items are here. And by default, it will show one line above and one line below the uh, found terms. And you can set this uh, how many lines you want above and below in your settings. Here you have the repository that we're looking at, and then you have the path to the specific file that we're looking at. You can click preview over here to get the uh, preview of the file. And you can also click the file itself to open up that specific file in the repo, and you can see the file structure there. On the left side, you'll see uh, filters, which are dynamically created based on the search results. And you can search by type, you can search repositories, certain paths, symbols, commits, and even diffs. You could even filter by repository. Let's say I wanted to do source graph slash source graph. And no matches are in that result, so there are no new auth provider search results in that repo. You can filter by language, I'll click go. So here are the filters that we have for this search. They are dynamically created, but if you want to see all of the search options that we have, if you scroll down to the bottom of this, need more advanced filters, explore the query syntax docs, and you'll get our docs on search patterns, keyword search. You can see there's a literal search here. You can have a regular expression search here and filters. So this is kind of what I wanted to look at. If you scroll down, you have repo. So repo colon lets you search inside of a repo. Uh, minus repo, you can negate a certain repo. You can search for files, negate files, content select. And if you take a look at this, you can see that there's an exhaustive list of the different options that you have for searches. And another thing I want to point out is if you are on source graph code search, if you are scrolling through, you're clicking on some filters, Notice how they don't add to the search bar just yet. If you do want to see them in the search bar, there's a button down here, move filters to the query. So if you click that, you'll be able to see the options populate in the search bar. So this is a good way to kind of learn the code search syntax. As you're going through, just click on what you need and keep clicking move filters to the query. So now we have type file, languages go, repo in this one right here. So I can highlight this delete that filter, press enter to redo the search. All right, so I hope that helps with the overall search results and being able to filter, adding the filters to the search box so you can kind of learn the syntax, and then also our docs so that you can learn all of the different types of syntax options we have.